All right, guys, as you can see, it's raining. We were supposed to get between one to three inches. Uh, anytime we have puddles out there, I know we've got more than an inch and a half of rain, so I'm pretty sure we got at least two inches of rain so far. Uh, the rain is still falling, but uh, let's uh, get into today's video. All right, today's video is gonna be LED lights for the uh, 986. Um, these are the old style headlights. We've got the two in the grill. We've got one on each bottom cab corner. That makes four. And we come around to the back. And you guys have seen me with these. There's two in the back, but I did add these up top there. Uh, so, um, today's video, we are going to change two of them. I haven't decided which two, if I want to change the two front headlights first or change the cab ones and uh, see. But uh, let me look at these uh, lights that just came. All right, so these are the lights that came. Like I say, I only ordered two of them because I want to make sure they're gonna work. I don't want to uh, buy a bunch and then have them not work. Um, at a dealership, if you go through uh, the OEM manufacturers, they do get pretty expensive. Uh, even the aftermarket parts uh, can be pretty expensive. I think Allstate's Ag Parts wants uh, $39 per light. So $39, you add that up over the, uh, for six of them, <laughs> that's a lot of money. So these, since uh, YouTube is great uh, for guys to uh, get uh, advice or uh, see what they want to do, um, I'm going to be the guinea pig here. These lights were pretty cheap. Let's look at them here. Um, it says waterproof, uh, color 5000K, uh, AC, DC, 12, 24 volt, wattage, nine watts a piece, uh, glass LEDs, uh, screw type, thermal base, lifetime, <laughs> 30,000 hours. Well, I can tell you <laughs> the lights will last longer than the tractor. Lumens here, uh, it's equal, uh, plus or minus 10% equal to a 50 watt halogen. So. These lights, I'm hoping they're gonna fit. Uh, it gives you the cost if you're using them on AC, I guess. I don't know, they're Chinese, I'm sure. So this is more for AC because the tractor's not going to, uh, <laughs> not gonna cost what your household electric is, but they are AC DC, so you can use them either or. But anyway, these I got on, on Amazon. Uh, I think they were $17 a piece. I don't have a lot of faith in them, but we're gonna try them. Uh, that's why I only bought two. And uh, I can be the guinea pig here for guys. Um, this is expensive to change these uh, LEDs on this tractor. Like I say, I'll link it in the description. You guys can check them out on your own. Uh, they've got them in the plastic here. Can't do it one-handed, I'll be right back. Okay, so the neat thing with these is you'll notice the glass here. Uh, if it is glass, let me check. Yeah, it's glass, it's not plastic. Um, so it's glass front, they have it adhesive there. It just looks like, like a tub and tile caulking that they used. Um, shouldn't matter, it's inside all the time anyway. Uh, but this is like the uh, original headlights. Um, and you see all the little LED uh, diodes in there. Um, the kind from uh, all states the front is plastic the way I understand I could be wrong But I think it's plastic and you can see it's just one two three four. I think there's six uh, Individual diodes versus these. I don't know if there's any advantage to this um, For $17 it's worth a try if uh, for some reason I don't like them. I can always use them in another application um, These here will still fit in probably the original housings for the uh, Farmall Super C or the 560 uh, different applications for $17. Like I say, I wasn't afraid uh, to pick them up here. Um, you'll also notice it has the uh, the little screws for the wires, so it will work with the uh, wires that are there. Um, you don't have to, if you have a spade connector there now, you can use that or you can use the screw uh, style, which is what is on the 986 currently. So now these are flood. Uh, you can get spot. Uh, you can get the trapezoidal pattern or you can get flood. These are the flood. I think that's the only uh, variety that they had, the only configuration in this $17, $18 light. Um, so being that these are the floods, I think I'm going to install them on these side, the sides of the cab here. 
So this should be a fairly easy job. All we have to do is take this rubber bezel off of here, pull the light out, take the two wires off, put the wires on and put it back in. So I'm hoping that the diameter is correct, so that they will fit into this rubber bezel here uh, because the lights here are 4.5 inches. Um, is the uh, stock size in the description it said these were 4.4 inches so i don't know if that's something that's just uh, lost in the translation from chinese to english or <laughs> if these are going to be too small um, those 4.5 inches really fit tight in those uh, bezels and you have to kind of squish them in i don't know if this these are going to fall out you guys will find out with me i'll be the guinea pig i will buy the dirt cheap lights um, and let you guys know how they work. So let's get into this project today. Okay, so you shouldn't need a lot of tools for this. Uh, basically, all I'm using is a screwdriver. Uh, this is the type of screwdriver I like to carry on my tractors. It's a 10 in one, so you only need one tool taking up space in the toolbox. But first we wanna, I don't know if I wanna remove the rubber. There's little tabs that stick down in here, but this rubber is still pretty soft. I think I can pull this light out and leave this rubber on actually so um i need two hands to do this but you guys get the point let me get this old light pulled out of here all right yet yeah, just uh, pull it out through here and uh, then you can remove the two wires that are on the back here and uh, all you need is a flat screwdriver and uh, we should be good i want to uh, Maybe before I put the wires on the new light, I will check the fit, make sure it fits tight. If we're good there, uh, we can pull it back out, connect our wires, and uh, go from there. Okay, it does fit. Uh, I did connect the wires, and while I had it apart, it was the perfect opportunity to take some uh, sandpaper and clean the connectors. Uh, they weren't uh, the best. You can see how the back of this old light was. Uh, years of uh, some grime and buildup. Uh, the light does fit in there pretty well. So don't let the uh, description uh, scare you. It, it is the correct size, and uh, now that I know that, um, I know they'll fit in a lot of applications here. So the old light that I removed, uh, the halogen, I was looking to see if I could get some information on it to see uh, what the wattage was or uh, see what I'm replacing here, but it just says 12 volt on the back, and there's not really any other information. Um, really slimy, dirty. Um, so that is uh, the installation, very simple, didn't take long. And uh, that bezel is broken, so I might, yeah, I might wanna pick another one of those up. But anyway, um, I wanna hook up the battery and see if this is gonna work. Yeah, we got one battery hooked up, that should be good enough. Uh, we will turn this little light off so we don't have any, uh, so we can see, come on. All right, so we can see actually how bright these are. Um, my switches are under here on this tractor. So let's just see. I'm see fine out with you guys. I did not try this yet. I don't see any smoke. Let me stand back and see if it is any brighter than what's on. Yeah, those front two headlights are pretty bright on this tractor. Those must be a pretty high but if you're looking at the sides, there we go. See the difference there? So yeah, it is, uh, oh man, it's hard to look at. All right, so they do work, they will fit. Uh, I don't see any smoke or anything. Cool to the touch. Warm to the touch. <laughs> so there it is. Uh, I think we'll do the other side and uh, see how it works out. All right, we've got the second one installed. Uh, there is no problems with the fit for these. They do fit. This one was that tight. I had to pry it in with a screwdriver. So I don't know what they got their measurement off or whatever they did there, but uh, batteries hooked up. Let's see what we got here. Let's turn this light off again. and see what we got. Yeah, it looks pretty good. These front headlights must be the spots, or the, yeah, the spotlights. 
for the headlights, I'm thinking, but they are, uh, that must be a pretty high wattage. Um, but these here are just bright. It hurts to look at them. So easy project. Uh, if I wasn't filming, I'd probably have this done in about uh, 15 minutes. So um, that's two of them, two of the six that are, that are on here. So um, time will tell. We'll see how they work out. Um, like I said, I don't know about putting the floods in the front. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to figure that out. I think, I don't know. You have your trapezoids, you have your <laughs> flood, and you have your spots. I'm pretty sure the spots are for the front headlights, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, there is no high and low beam on this tractor like there is on my other ones. Um, but the floods, I think, are good for the side. They're going to flood light out. Um, I know they have, unlike combines, they had deflectors, so it's not shining on the tractor. We'll have to try it at night and see what it's going to look like. Um, I should have opportunity to use this at night if I'm uh, spread lime and that kind of stuff. I uh, probably could use the floods on the back of the machine back here. Uh, I do have these, uh, and these here work. It's two separate switches for the front and the rear lights. Um, these here, like I say, these two... For $17 for the two of them, or for, yeah, for one, $17 a piece. So it's a lot cheaper. Um, a lot of guys might not like that I'm buying uh, aftermarket lights, but these are just so expensive. Um, so that's where we're at. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow.